Hi, this is John, and I want to welcome you to Refuge, your safe place of hope and motivation. It is so good to see you here. I am so happy to see you. I truly enjoy our time together, and I believe you do as well. Let's just relax from the busyness of the day and, and just allow ourselves to come down and relax together. I want us to breathe deeply in and breathe deeply out. And with every breath in, breathe in life. And with every breath out, breathe out the strain and the stress. Oh, here's little Chow Chow. He wants you to know that he loves you. And so do I. This is John Otero. We're going to spend a little time experiencing tranquility. Now, Webster's Dictionary suggests that tranquility is the quality or state of being tranquil, free from agitation of mind or spirit, self-assured, free from disturbance or turmoil. Now, putting things in order will help you and I enjoy greater tranquility as our surroundings really do influence our state of mind. Let's together look at some ingredients for true and lasting tranquility. First of all, we are not worrying about our self-image. You and I are who we are. You are you and I am me. Whether others like it or approve of it or not, if we find a fault in ourselves, we seek to improve it, but we do not worry about our image. We are simply who we are, and we rest in that. We have no need to find ourselves, <laughs> because we have already been found. We are who we are, and we simply rest in that. We are celebrating our uniqueness. Every human being is different and unique. Nobody has quite the same outlook on life, and that's quite okay. It is truly a wonderful feeling that we are now enjoying, celebrating just being who we are. <laughs> and we rest in that. We do seek to create an environment of peace in our own lives. People can often find happiness even though their lives may be hard and uncomfortable, but most of us need an environment of peace and calm. One of the important building blocks is treating others with kindness and generosity. Others will naturally reciprocate this kindness with acts of love and generosity towards us. And we learn to rest in that. Life is so very beautiful. We rest in that. We are very aware of what generosity really is. And when our hearts are not in what we give away, including our love, well, then it really isn't actually giving. Therefore, we constantly strive to give out of a genuine love. And we rest in that. We always live in the now, learning to not put off until tomorrow what needs to be done today. Our past are merely a memory. We choose not to live there anymore. And oh, we do rest in that. We're learning 
to simply go slowly. It is quite true that life may be fast and furious, but not all of the time. We are purposefully learning to simply slow down. And we rest in that. We are by nature sociable. We have come to realize that we cannot attain real peace and true joy apart from others. Though we do enjoy times of solitude, we readily intermingle with others, accepting them for who they are, and we use kindness and gentleness as a means to achieve mutual peace and harmony. We rest in that. We seek to loosen some of our attachments. Oh, we are so attached to all sorts of things, family, friends, loved ones, possessions, jobs. If we only can learn to quietly detach ourselves from these things, we may find that we are much, much happier. We rest in that. We're learning to cultivate a true attitude of gratitude. We're accepting, we're letting go, and we're cultivating the garden of our heart. We truly are becoming a better person, and oh man, it feels so good. And we rest in that. We enjoy our lives. Yes, we engage in life in the most meaningful ways possible. Growing flowers, walking on the beach, all enjoying life, resting in that. This is refuge. It is our safe place. So dear ones, all is well. Close your eyes. Quiet your mind. And sleep. You are safe. Sleep. All is well. Sleep. Sleep. And always remember as you fall asleep, the last thought in your mind and heart is that you are so very special. You are unique. And God really does love you. Chow Chow loves you and says good night. And so do I. Sleep well, dear one. Sleep. Sleep. I want to say good night. Ciao.